South African being raised in the family with our brothers, the, the culture that we have, we do not give up. Drikas Duplessis, remember the name. It will be a household name in the top 10 very, very soon. Every single person that I fight underestimates me. I gotta imagine that Drikas Duplessis will be the next guy. Oh! South Africa wow. is officially on the map now. Duplessis, he's got the ability, the talent, and the skill, and the look to really make a name for himself. I go out there to fight, and that I can do better than anybody in the world. Drikas Duplessis can fight. This man is a fighting machine. He's an animal. He's a real dangerous cat. This man has been absolutely tearing it up. That's it. Wow. There is no doubting the South African now title fight next. Anybody who doubted you in the past, that's all gone. Drikas still knocks Duplessis became the first South African Ultimate Fighting Championship belt holder after beating Sean Strickland by split decision on the 20th of January 2024 to take the middleweight belt from the champion. His UFC career has been a monument to his skill and determination, with a big win coming off his fight against Robert Whitaker becoming a turning point in his career. For Duplessis, this bout was a turning point that gave him confidence and balance in the octagon. The importance of this forthcoming bout goes beyond Duplessis' individual accomplishment. He'll make history if he prevails, and become the first South African to win a UFC gold medal. A significant accomplishment for both him and his country. The UFC middleweight champion, Dirkus Duplessis, was born on the 14th of January 1994 in Welcome, Orange Free State, South Africa. At age 5, Dirkus began training in Judo, followed by wrestling at age 12 then kickboxing at 14. It was evident that Drikas was going to do amazingly well in his career at an early age, and in this video, let's take a look at the rise of Drikas Duplessis. Before joining the UFC, Drikas Duplessis had a successful career in mixed martial arts. He held a record of 33-0 in his amateur K-1 career. He even managed to win 30 of his fights via knockout. Duplessis dominated the division and earned the nickname Still Knox. He competed in various promotions in South Africa and Europe showcasing his skills and gaining recognition in the MMA community. His hard work and dedication paid off when he eventually got the opportunity to compete on the biggest stage in the sport, the UFC. It's inspiring to see how far he's come in his journey. At 17, Duplessis won the gold medal at the World Association of Kickboxing Organizations World Championship in K1-style kickboxing in 2012. In the process, he became the first South African medalist in the tournament's history. However, upon realizing that there's not much scope for substantial financial benefits in kickboxing, Duplessis shifted to mixed martial arts. He had three amateur bouts before making his professional mixed martial arts debut in 2013. Duplessis boasted a 4-0 record before taking on the then-EFC middleweight champion, Gareth McLellan, at the Extreme Fighting Championship Africa 33. Unfortunately, he lost the bout in the third round via guillotine choke submission. Duplessis made his welterweight debut in June 2015 at the EFC Africa 40 against Dino Bagadin, which he won via a rear naked choke submission. Anything he does! Anything he does! Drink is Duplessis! He went to the EFC 50 event with a 3-0 record where he eyed the vacant EFC welterweight championship. The South African had no problem getting the better of veteran fighter Martin Van Staden and claiming the title. In 2017, Duplessis marked his return to the EFC. This time, he defeated Brazilian fighter Mauricio da Rocha Jr. in a welterweight fight. He then faced Yannick Bahati at EFC Africa 62 for the middleweight championship. The South African won the title in the first round by a guillotine show. thereby becoming a two-division champion within the promotion. On the 14th of April 2018, Drikas Duplessis faced Croatian Roberto Soldic for the Konfrontia Stuk Valki Welterweight Championship, where he defeated Soldic via technical knockout to claim the title. There goes the champion with a big shot! That came from nowhere! Duplessis is in there! It's all over!
He fought again for KSW at the KSW 50 event, this time winning against Joelton Santos via technical knockout. Duplessis finally made his debut in the Ultimate Fighting Championship against Marcus Perez from Brazil at the UFC Fight Night 179 on the 11th of October 2020. The former KSW welterweight champion and EFC middleweight champion brought a lot of hype with him into his debut. The 185-pound fight was expected to go a little longer given Perez's durability and toughness, but Duplessis unloaded with a left hook during an exchange in the first round that sent Maluco crashing to the canvas. Duplessis jumped on top for a barrage of strikes and the eventual knockout stoppage. Although Duplessis looked shaky in the opening minutes, leading to speculation from cage commentators Dan Hardy and Paul Felder that he might be experiencing the infamous octagon jitters, a little anxious right now, it's the debut, so you gotta calm down and, and find your rhythm. Duplessis was clearly able to overcome them as he caught Perez with an awkward shot, then followed up with devastating follow-up blows. He won the fight via knockout in the first round. The South Africa's first performance of the night award came on the 10th of July 2021 at UFC 264, where he won the bout against Trevin Giles via knockout in the second round. The initial fight was fixed for March 2021, but Duplessis had been forced out of the bout with Giles due to visa issues. But when Giles got the win against short-notice replacement Roman Dolice, the stage was set for Duplessis versus Giles to go down finally, on a much bigger card, no less. During the fight, both fighters took the center, and Duplessis hit Giles with a kick. A jab from Giles was answered with a low kick. One minute into the fight, Duplessis landed five calf kicks. Giles missed with a very heavy hook and he followed it up with a 1-2 just seconds later. Duplessis threw a head kick, but it was blocked. With just over two minutes left in the round, he landed a leaping punch but was countered. Duplessis shot in for a double and put Giles against the fence. Giles grabbed a guillotine, but Duplessis defended. Duplessis went straight into the mount and went for a leg lock, but Giles rolled and ended up on Duplessis' back. Duplessis got to his feet and went for a Kimura, but Giles again defended. Duplessis was able to use it to gain position. The round ended with Duplessis holding a choke. Round 2 started with both men in the center. 30 seconds into the round, Giles landed a flying knee to Duplessis' body. Duplessis threw a punch, but Giles countered with his own hook. Giles had Duplessis against the fence throwing a combo, and as he backed up, Duplessis landed a straight right that dropped Giles. Duplessis then pounced on him for the finish. Oh, there we go, your giant. Good shot. Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! Duplessis! Moving on to 2022, Drickus Duplessis won two important matches. He first defeated American Brad Tavares at UFC 276 on the 2nd of July. Immediately, the fight started. Tavares was instantly gripped against the fence by Drickus Duplessis who then attempted a lateral drop that failed by pulling Tavares into half guard. After managing to stand back up, Duplessis attempted a takedown but was unsuccessful. Tavares gave Duplessis a quick shake while he was battling carelessly. As he recovered, Duplessis went for a takedown, pushing Tavares up against the fence. While Duplessis attempted to make tremendous shots, Tavares was allowing him to run out of gas. Tavares won the competition's opening round. In the second round, Duplessis fired first and emerged victorious. His approach was the use of his long right hand as part of a charging combination. Duplessis landed several straight punches that opened Tavares up. In this round, Duplessis was having considerably better success, easily catching Tavares. He gave him a good start to the round and maintained that momentum. With leg kicks, Tavares attempted to regain ground, but Duplessis stopped him at the end of the round and finished it off with a massive knee at the bell. It might interest you to know that Brad Tavares started his fight against Drickus Duplessis with bleached blonde hair, and by the end of the third round, it was red, covered in blood after the American sustained a brutal beating. At the end of the fight, Plessis was declared the winner via unanimous decision. Later in 2022, Duplessis took on Darren Till from England at UFC 282 on December 10. The fight went on for three rounds and started with Till pressuring Duplessis backwards. 20 seconds in, Duplessis shot a takedown and immediately landed it. He tried to get on Darren's back against the cage and hammered short shots in while Darren tried to stand up. 
Darren finally got back to his feet, but Drickus dropped back on another double leg takedown and immediately got on Darren's back with a body triangle in. Duplessis went for the rear naked choke, but Darren was able to defend. 40 seconds to the end of the round, Till got on his feet and dropped punches on Duplessis before attempting a Darce choke on him, and the round came to an end. Just like the first round, the second round started with Drickus looking tired and Darren pressing him backwards. Even though Till gave him a few hard, straight-left punches, Duplessis remained upright while displaying unprofessional body language. Two minutes in, Till planted a knee, and Duplessis brought him down with a single leg, but Darren managed to hobble to his knees and then to his feet. Darren occasionally made strong left-hand landings, but Drickus rarely responded. With a minute remaining in the round, Drickus scored a significant takedown and tried a guillotine from side control. With only 10 seconds left in the round, Duplessis rolled for a leg lock that looked deep for a moment, but Darren held on until the bell. In the opening moments of the last round, Darren employed a little more variety in his combinations, occasionally combining straight punches with knees, elbows, and hooks. Having gathered some energy, Drickus was more active this round and really went after Till's legs. This round's striking was close compared to round 2's lackluster striking. Drickus Duplessis successfully completed a takedown halfway through the round, resulting in a full mount. Till attempted to stand up. Reach Till when he gets to the floor. That's a huge moment for Duplessis. Oh, he got it. Just he got it. By winning the fight via submission on the third round, the South African earned his first fight of the night award. Duplessis started 2023 on a strong note by defeating American mixed martial artist Derek Brunson at UFC 285 on the 4th of March. Both men had their moments during the intense 10 minutes of the fight. In an intriguing grappling exchange in round one, both men attempted simultaneous leg submissions before Brunson made great progress with his boxing. In round two, Duplessis turned the tables with a huge leg kick that appeared to cripple Brunson and restrict movement. Brunson connected with a powerful barrage, but Duplessis countered with a series of forceful blows, including a right hand that knocked out Derek Brunson. Brunson thrashed his arms and legs after he was on the canvas. In the dying moments, Duplessis deftly used his enormous left hand to knock Brunson's head off the canvas and cause him to respond by throwing a towel from the corner. Drickus Duplessis won the match via technical knockout because of a corner stoppage at 4 minutes 59 seconds of the second round. On the 8th of July 2023, the athlete was involved in one of the most significant brawls of his career till then, against the former UFC middleweight champion Robert Whitaker in a title eliminator fight. The fighters wasted little time in starting to battle, although Whitaker was considerably more skilled in the opening exchanges. The former champion knocked down Duplessis in the midst of the round, showcasing his well-rounded skills, but they got back up fast to continue exchanging blows. After that, Duplessis started landing clean combos and used a headlock to bring Whitaker to the mat. He ended the first round by severing Whitaker's body with powerful ground-and-pound attacks while he was on the ground. By winning the UFC 290 fight via technical knockout in the second round, the South African earned the Performance of the Night award and the number one contender spot in the middleweight division. Many believe that after taking down Whitaker, Duplessis would be defending the UFC middleweight title against Israel Adesanya of New Zealand at UFC 293. But the South African mixed martial artist had to withdraw from the bout due to a leg injury. Sean Strickland, an American mixed martial artist, took Duplessis' spot. On the 20th of January 2024, Drickus Duplessis created a record for his win against Strickland at UFC 297. After a five-round struggle that went the whole distance, Duplessis ultimately won a split decision to take Strickland's middleweight title after bloodying the former champion over his left eye. During the fight, Strickland's defensive wrestling was key in the early going. Drickus Duplessis was able to land a few takedowns, but Strickland quickly worked his way back to his feet. With Duplessis' win over Strickland, he became the first UFC champion from South Africa. Drickus Duplessis enjoys an excellent record of 21 wins and only two losses in his professional mixed martial arts career. He's won nine matches via knockout, ten by virtue of submission, and two by decision. In terms of his achievements, the South Africans tied in first place with Paulo Costa for the most significant strikes landed per minute in the UFC middleweight division's history, with a record of 6 minutes and 49 seconds. Currently, Drickus Duplessis ranks 6 on the list of the longest win streak in the UFC middleweight division's history, with 7 consecutive wins to his name. 
All of these achievements and wins have afforded him an incredible lifestyle, and he's made tons of money throughout his career as an MMA artist. Duplessis' fan base has expanded tremendously due to his accomplishments outside of the UFC. Seeing how the South Africans developed throughout his time is stunning. His progression from a mere KWS and EFC fighter to competing in the UFC is remarkable. If you like this video, do let me know in the comments, and obviously leave your likes too. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Above all, activate your notification bell so you don't miss the next video when it drops. Until next time, do take care and stay safe.